in today's world, I think it's so easy to get carried away with the noise that has filled the world, the noise from racism, from the hostile environment that we live in. I find light when I'm at home in my bed, like before I go to sleep, because I'll be listening to music and just thinking, reflecting on the day, thinking about the future. I find light at home, on my own. I do like being on my own. It's not like I don't like being around people. I just feel like when I'm on my own, I have time to handle my thoughts. And usually I'll just sit on my bed and listen to music, cross my legs and just close my eyes and be very, you know, I would say, I'd be in my own world, I'll be in Georgia's world. Uh, personally, um, I find light in family. Um, I've always had that um, element of being a mommy's girl and a family girl type of thing, very family oriented. So family just makes me feel safe and at home. The question, where do you find light? That's kind of deep. A lot of people hardly think about that. A lot of people don't know where to find their lights or what kind of light they're looking for. I was from Guinea, but here I am just, I try to study and I try to improve uh, my knowledge and I try to get a job. Uh, yeah, I try to find light. Uh, I try to find Because <laughs> of all the lights, like walking into the lights was trippy. And then um, obviously listening to the whole, to the stories just like kind of put me in another world just thinking of what different people go through and how they change and become strong. When I was listening to um, the people talk from their experiences, um, I try to put myself in, uh, in their shoes, see from their perspective, because I know that they're speaking from their own experiences. It's a way for, for me, someone like me, that haven't been through what they've been through, to see how they've managed to live the life that they have, even with the past that they've got. Seeing the light at the first moment, I was like, mm, what's this? Because I had no idea after seeing anything like that. Then walking through the light, listening to the voices, the stories of people. I worked, I came into a country three years ago myself and kind of have been able to relate to other people's stories kind of made me feel like okay, I'm not alone. I've got people who also feel the same. I feel like the lights, they symbolise um, a sort of a different way of seeing the prejudice that refugees do go through. And I feel like the lights also bring a new happiness, a new hope. We've gone through a lot uh, in this asylum and process and at times you stay and you, you sit down and say, ah, when will all these things end? But then for someone to come up with an idea um, to just see how we feel, even in, in, in our difficulties, um, I think it's, it's, it's so amazing. And coming down to see the installation, you see some connection in, in there that even though um, we find ourselves in, in the dark, we, we still can find a light in that dark, darkness. I always tell people to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down.